Hello, Namaskar and welcome. Network Analysis or Porter and CPM. And in the last lecture, we discussed about the float, slacks, free time and particularly about the total float. And as we had discussed that, we can classify the total float into further three different kinds of float and one of them is interfering float. What is interfering float? The part of the total float which cause a reduction in the float of the successor activities is called interfering float. Yes, as we have already discussed that by the term float we mean that the free time available to a non-critical activity by which we can delay or extend or postpone the activity. Okay, but is it possible every time to delay or extend or postpone a non-critical activity without disturbing this kind of floats of other particularly success activities? No. Utilization of float of an activity may or say likely to affect the floats of other successor activities. Then it becomes very important to know this kind of effect. And if the part of total float affects the floats of the other successor activities, we need to find out that particular amount of time of the total float. And the formula of interfering float is latest finish time of the activity under consideration. You can say that present activity. Minus earliest start time of the successor activities. Yes, the difference between these two or zero. That means compare the difference with zero and select whichever is largest. That means it can never be negative. Okay. Let's take the interfering float of activity A. That means latest finish time of activity A, 11. Minus earliest start of successor. Which one is the successor of A? End event of A is 2 and start event of D is 2. That means D is the successor which we can see here. Okay. So, Earliest start time of successor, that means earliest start time of D, that is 2. Yes, this 2 we are taking is equal to 9. 9 or 0, whichever is higher, obviously it is 9. In case of B, B is critical activity, so its total float is 0, so all components of total float must be 0, so we are not going to write anything, or if you don't write anything, it is also correct, or write 0. C, latest finish time is 11, successor of C is H, and earliest start time of H is 8, 11 minus 8. That is 3. 11 minus 8. That is 3. Okay. Now it is turn of D. Latest finish time is 14. And successor is I. Its earliest start time is 13. 14 minus 13 is equal to 1. Yes, 14 minus 13 is equal to. One. Now it's turn of E. Latest finish time of E is 14. The successor is I. I's earliest start time is 13. So again it is 14 minus 13. 1. Now F. It will be 0 in case of F. You can check also. Latest finish time of F is 17, its successor is J, earliest start time is 17, 17 minus 0 is 17. G, latest finish time is 16, its successor is K, K's earliest start time is 15, 
so 16 minus 15 equals to 1 16 minus 15 equals to 1 G then H latest finish time is 17 successor of H is J its earliest start time is 17 17 minus 17 equals to 0 I latest finish time is 16 successor of I is K in K's earliest start time is 15 16 minus 15 equals to 1 J critical activity so 0 and K there is no further successor activities so it will be 0 so these are interfering floats if we try to interpret these statistics in case of A it is 9 in case of C it is 3 yes in case of C it is 3 let's take this 3 what is the interpretation of these 3 in case of C if we use the total float of 3 in case of C it will be finished on the 11th day instead of 8th day because if we start it instead of 0 day we start it on the after 3 days so now 3 plus 8 its latest finish time will be 11 yes and hence the earliest start time of H will be 11 yes so it affects and that will change the float of H also and so on so it is something like playing pool or billiard the use of float of one activity may affect the float of the other succeeding activity or activities that is the interpretation of interfering float so together with total float it is also important to know about the interfering float of the activities yes now in the next lecture we are going to discuss about the concept of free float that's it thank you very much